I call uh, Gareth Hughes. Uh, kia ora, Mr Chair. Na mihinui kia koutou. Kia ora. Look, the Green Party supports this bill. We've supported it at all stages. We want to thank the select committee who heard it, uh, the submitters. It's an interesting question, because these opening and closing broadcasts you could consider a little bit of a relic of history, a relic of the TV age. But I am a little... Uh, a little sad, if I'm honest, because while they may have been a relic, we have so few opportunities for sort of long-form political discourse uh, in the public sphere. There are very few opportunities, and in fact, even debates now are, are condensed down into these little sound bites. So, sure, maybe a relic, but maybe there's some lessons from other ages. But look, there was a unanimous opinion, I believe, amongst the parties that we've got to get with the times, particularly of taxpayers' money. Mr. Speaker, now this replacing of part six of the Broadcasting Act comes from the review of the 2014 election. Now, if only the government would actually pick up on some of the other electoral recommendations we've heard very clearly, such as the coattailing clause, and there's a whole bunch of other things which aren't in the government's electoral interest, so they're not doing it. In this case, there's, there's two reasons why I think it's in their interest. The first is they get a great big wad of cash to go spend on digital ads, which we know uh, they're very keen to do. The second is, and I was mulling, you know, it must have been such a problem for the National Party. The last opening and closing broadcast, they had 31 minutes to fill. How do you fill 31 minutes when you're not acting on housing, you're not acting on climate change, when your key message is, I'm relaxed about the state of the country and nothing to see here? How did you fill 31 minutes? So I sympathise with the National Party with the conundrum they faced. Poor old Act, they only had three minutes. National had to fill 31 minutes was not acting, so I can understand the challenge they were in, Mr Chair. Look, we, we also know we've got a problem, which the Select Committee report identifies, around the wider rules when it comes to broadcast. I think it was pretty uh, tragic what happened when it came to that Planet Key video. I believe in the freedom of speech for New Zealanders. I think elections are an important time for people to get involved and have a say. And it's disappointing that some parts of electoral law seem to be shutting that down. So I note that in the report there's going to be action post the 2017 election. But I hope that, again, in the interest of working together in unanimity, we can actually address this. Because ultimately what we want to see is a, a public debate on, on issues, not using the law to stop it. All in all, we support this and uh, look forward to, I guess... Last election, it was the choice of either the All Blacks or the opening broadcast. I know which I would choose, even though I'm a political tragic. Of course I'd choose the All Blacks. So New Zealanders won't face that choice anymore. But I think they'll still be searching and using online tools. And I want to congratulate the work of the likes of Rockin' and Roll and other people doing civic advocacy so people can access that information. The information's going to be there. People are going to have to do a little digging, and it's incumbent on parties and politicians to provide good, transparent information on their policies and platform and vision. And that's exactly what the Green Pad will be doing. Kia ora, Mr Chair.